Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Farrell, the Worldwide Executive Director for Humanities Team, and welcome to this 15-minute very special program with Jonathan Goldman. Jonathan is a dear friend of Humanities Team and Global Oneness Day. He has created a sound healing moment just for Global Oneness Day 2016. Let me introduce him briefly. Jonathan Goldman is an international authority on sound healing and a pioneer in the field of harmonics. He is an author and is the director of the Sound Healers Association and president of Spirit Music, Inc. Jonathan is the double winner of the, and of the Visionary Awards for Best Healing Meditation Album and Album of the Year. He is a lecturing member of the International Society for Music Medicine. He has dedicated his life to the path of service, helping awaken and empower others with the ability of sound to heal and transform. And welcome to Global Oneness Day, Jonathan. It's great to have you with us. Steve, it is such a blessing to be here with you and all the listeners and all the beings who are perhaps unconsciously just feeling the vibrations of our sounds together. What a blessing. Thank you. Oh, nicely put. And, of course, you usually uh, frame your music this way, the the frequency of the uh, music. But it's true, isn't it, that uh, where we come together in this way for where we're devoted to to healing the earth is, which is what uh, Global Oneness Day is, where we're awakening oneness, and and also your your uh, Sound Healing Day, which is in uh, on Valentine's Day every year. That's right, uh, World uh, Sound Healing Day. <laughs> World Sound Healing Day. That's right. This is what it. This is what we're doing. So I know uh, you know we're, we're going to have this conscious, enhanced listening experience here in just uh, a few minutes. But uh, Jonathan, yeah, can you uh, walk us in and and just tell us? A little bit about this piece and or and or inspirations that you have around global oneness day that you'd love to share with listeners this year well you know basically i'd just like to for a moment just talk about uh, sound and the fact that most people don't realize that sound is actually a very powerful energy and one of the things that it does even when we're just listening is sound goes into our ears and into our brain and affects our nervous system our heart rate and our respiration and uh, so many things can happen uh, when this occurs including the fact that we begin to resonate vibrate and then train together and be as one and I think that's one of the keys to being the global oneness is to be as one and you know first of all there is breath because there is no sound without breath but the next step beyond breath is sound so if we listen and breathe together, we can really help co-create, uh, shall we say, an interface with what I call the Gaia matrix or the energy of Mother Earth. Beautiful. Well, and you've even created this equation, frequency plus intent equals healing, which so many mm-hmm. people talk about. Yes, and uh, so we're, uh, we've all created a beautiful intention here on this day, Global Oneness Day, that we awaken to oneness and feel our oneness because this unity doesn't exist, does it? The, uh, in, in truth, we are all one, and we always have been, but uh, we're we just are all to our one. oneness. Yes, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, just an amazing phenomena for us to really begin to come back to that place of oneness because for some reason uh, a lot of... Uh, a lot of our species has forgotten how interrelated we are and you know thank goodness for things like uh quantum mechanics and the you know ancient mystics and the uh modern physicists who tell us that everything is is in a state of vibration they also tell us that everything is interfacing and basic, basically coalescing together so we are all one whether we are aware of it or not but if we become aware of it, it really enhances the experience. Yes, it does. And if oneness is ultimate reality, then to enhance the experience and really live in it and embody it, express it, um, what what better way to spend our life huh, than to really consciously live in the truth of who we are? Oh, totally. And, you know, once again, getting back, uh, you know, into the you know concept of sound, a lot of people don't realize, but this is a quote from a long time ago from the New York Times science section, and it says, sound shaped into dazzling tool can make, break, or rearrange 
molecular structure and levitate objects. Now, this I didn't make this up. This came from the New York Times, and it's talking about the power of sound. So I really feel that sound coupled with, you know, intentionality, with meditation, is one of the key, uh, if you like, uh, formulas for our, like, being in a state of grace. And it's just so very, very important. And what an opportunity for me to uh, be able to present uh, to you and uh, your listeners this, uh, what I call uh, an enhanced conscious listening experience, which is actually something that I have not done before in this particular manner. But uh, we're actually going to be listening to a piece of music from my Chakra Chants uh, recording uh, called Angelic Calling, which is the uh, works with the energy of the uh, crown chakra, but also simultaneously the heart chakra and the energy of the Om sound and many, many other sounds. And it uh, features myself and my wife. Andy and our dear beloved uh, friend Sarah Benson, who is now operating herself on the angelic realms, but she said something that I want to share with you and all your listeners. The true sound of healing is love. The true sound of healing is love. Gosh, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because when we, oneness is really the the form, but the essence is love. It's, It's said over and over again over the history of, t- of time that this is true so if love is the essence then love is also the frequency that creates healing isn't it indeed and with that one how about we begin having this uh, little experience uh, listening to some sound and then we'll get back to it talking but uh, listeners it's going to be about three minutes long which are really going to enjoy it and I'm going to Begin by just guiding you a little bit and a little bit of a sort of a meditation idea, and then we'll just listen for a couple of minutes and then get back with each other. Steve, how does that sound? That sounds perfect. Looking forward to this piece that you've created for Global Oneness Day here, Jonathan. Thank you. All right, here we go. So I'd like you to take a couple of deep breaths very slow deep breaths as you begin to listen to this music and as you're taking these deep breaths feel the breath actually going in and out through your heart feel this energy going in and out through your heart as you're breathing and now think of something that you feel gratitude and appreciation for It can be an offspring or a pet or a beautiful day, but something that you really feel gratitude for. It's so important. And now, as you continue listening to this music, visualize a beautiful energy of pink and gold going out from yourself and interfacing with the field of the Gaia Matrix, the energy of our Mother Earth. Know that this energy is helping bring great consciousness to all beings on our planet.
we're going to begin coming back and re-entering and trusting that this moment of sound healing has helped elevate the consciousness of all sentient beings. Oh, my gosh. Now uh, I, I know where the term simply divine comes from, Jonathan. <laughs> Angelic calling. Wow, that little three-minute segment was was stunning, and it it does um, permit us to just feel into what the divine is, with unity and wholeness uh, and love, and and even a connection with with uh, Gaia, uh, with this beautiful Earth that we live on. Huh? Well, I just, I just have to say that it's so, from my perspective, you know, people always, you know, talk about music, this, and, you know, uh, uh, music has, you know, charms to uh, soothe the uh, savage beast or whatever, but really music also has the ability, and sound overall has the ability of bringing us into that state of oneness that, as you pointed out, we already are, but by gosh and by golly, what a wonderful tool it is and we just simply have to be you know aware of using music that's slow and has positive if you like energetic uh energy to it because by gosh and by golly that's uh that's really important uh you know uh, when we are if you like trying to interface and be as one indeed Yes, and this this music, this particular piece you chose, oh my goodness! But uh, just the the sound healing music that you produce, Jonathan, it really helps us to feel into this divine oneness, doesn't it? It does. I, I'm just amazed when I as I listen to your CDs and tapes and hear about your workshops and things that um, just bring us into this beautiful place of real connection, of real embodiment and expression you know of, of radiating uh the one oneness which is the divine well thank you steve i mean it's so interesting because this, this recording you know won a number of different awards shocker chance um you know close to 20 years ago and then it was just recently voted uh most iconic album of all time uh, meaning that for some reason uh people still really you know i i, I guess it uh, it's got a lot of staying power so to speak or a lot of love well <laughs> does it does it a lot of love, a lot of talent, and I just want to share uh, for people that don't know, Jonathan's uh, father was one of the people that created plastic surgery, uh, and uh, of course, uh, and his brother is also uh, a professional that's on that uh, kind of path, and so there was this opportunity for a worldly treasure to uh, go down that path, but instead, you created this whole sound healing association, this uh, spirit music, all of these things that you've done with your wife, Andy that are bringing this this healing music out in the world and there's there's no doubt but that you've played a role in awakening oneness and uh helping people to really feel into and live into oneness Jonathan I just want to thank you for that. Oh thank you so much Steve and if people want to find out more go to healingsounds.com and I know that you need to uh begin uh, to um vibrate to the, our next uh uh, visitor to this wonderful plane of existence for a global oneness day. So I want to thank you again for this opportunity. You bet. Well, thank you for being here with me. And again, World Sound Healing Day on uh, Valentine's Day. Put that one on your calendar. We always participate in that with Jonathan as well. It's just a really beautiful and healing experience. Uh, so thank you again, Jonathan. Gosh, just such a pleasure to be with you. Uh, and next up is a blessing for Global Oneness Day that was created especially for Global Oneness Day 2016 by Pierre Pradervan. Pierre Pradervan wrote a book called The Gentle Art of Blessing that is truly an extraordinary book. It was made into a video. You can see it on YouTube. If you, uh, if you click on uh, Gentle Art of Blessing on YouTube, you'll see the video. It's extraordinary. I invite people to check that out. You won't want to miss this program. It's up next right after this program. Before we go to our next program, we're going to enjoy a oneness moment and experience 10 seconds of silence so we may connect with the divine within and each other. Let's go ahead and begin our oneness moment right now. <laughs> 